So higher. See that this problem is came in GE main 2019 and where we are going to find out that the given expression y equal to whatever may be, right? It's actually represent a straight line. It's given. But it says that in which quadrant? So therefore, based on sine function and all that, obviously we are not able to calculate that. So easiest way, let's try to simplify that. So let's take the value of y. So here we can see that if I consider the uh, consider that y, it's actually sine ab form. So obviously, first we write down it is actually sine x, then it's sine x plus 2 minus sine squared x plus 1. So therefore, it's imply that 2y, it's definitely equal to 2 sine x, sine x plus 2 minus 2 sine square x plus 1. Why we multiply by 2? Because we know the formula of 2 sine a sine b. What's the formula of 2 sine a sine b? It's actually cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. So therefore, I consider that x plus 2 as a, right? So therefore, it's imply that cos a minus b, that gives you cos of 2 minus cos a plus b that gives you 2x plus 2 that's it so this is we obtain now we are having this sine square term we know the formula of cos 2 theta what is cos 2 theta is actually 1 minus 2 sine square theta so therefore minus 2 sine square theta is actually 1 plus cos 2 theta and all that so let's write down because this formula is very important so let's write down the formula of cos 2 theta so we can see that cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine square theta. So therefore we can find that 2 sine square theta is equal to 1 minus cos 2 theta. So we'll use this formula to solve this problem. So it is minus 2. So therefore we can say this is minus 1 plus cos 2x plus 2. So what happened? This cos term get cancelled. So at the end we have cos 2 minus 1. But still now we are not able to identify that what is the uh, simplification of it. It is positive, negative and what is the value, right? Because based on the positive, negative only we can identify that in which quadrant it lies. So that's why again we need to simplify that. How we simplify that? We see that it is 1 minus 2 sine square theta. So therefore cos 2 theta equal to 1. It's 1 minus 2 sine square 1. So therefore we can easily write that this is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square 1 minus 1. This is 1. So therefore it gives you that imply 2y is equal to minus 2 sine square 1 that imply the y value is actually negative of sine square 1 and that is less than 0. So it's represent a line and sine square 1 is a constant value. So therefore, if I use our coordinate geometry concept, right, the x, y and all that stuff, we see that this is the required line. Why? Because it's minus of sine square. And so which coordinate is line? First two seconds, so this is third and fourth. So it lies on third and fourth quadrant. So therefore, uh, we can see that option D for this particular problem is the correct choice, right? So it's a straight line parallel to the x-axis and that's it. Hope you understood the problem. Thank you.